Hello and welcome to Infinity. Affinity Photo, like other photo editors, is based on the principle of layers and you really have to understand these in order to make good use of it. So this is a very very first uh, video to say this is basically basically what layers are about. It can seem a bit odd at first but actually it's quite easy so let's get going. So let's imagine I've got here this is a layer here, this is a piece of cardboard painted blue and on top is another piece of card which is red. So now if I look downwards from above like this, what am I going to see? I'm going to see the red of course because the blue is hidden underneath. So what I see is this. Now then, let's take another alternative. Now I've got a blue layer here at the bottom as before, but now this layer, let's say this is transparent. Imagine this is a piece of clear plastic. So now when I look here, I'm looking through this layer to see the layer underneath. So what I see is this. I see blue. Now then, let's try something else again. And this brings in the, really the layer idea of layers again. Now imagine that you've got this blue card underneath. Now this layer on top here is half red and half transparent. Right? So when I'm looking down on here, I'm going to see the red from here, but I'm going to see through this bit and I'm going to see the blue from here. So what I see is this. So this is the real key thing about layers is that you can look through one layer and see part of one layer and part of another layer again so that you, you what you actually see is a combination of the layers underneath. Let's do this in a picture just for a bit of fun. Here we have a chap playing a trumpet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the paintbrush over here and I'm going to click on the red here so I've got a red paintbrush but I'm not going to paint on this picture I could paint on this but if I do that then if I want to change it I have just have to use undo so I'm going to paint on another layer above this also shows it so to put another layer in we've got a layer menu up here which offers you lots of things and you can click here on new layer and this puts in another layer above here called pixel because that's what it is it's got pixels which are little dots you can also and I often use this is this one down here this is exactly the same thing you click on here and it gives you a pixel layer so now with my paintbrush I'm going to paint on this layer see this layer is selected if you click on a layer it selects it so I click on this layer and now I've selected it now if I paint on here I can put a nice hat on here, fill that in nicely, and there we go, and uh, do whatever I like. Yes, it's a silly example, but it shows you what this is. So if I click on these here, these little tick marks turn the layer on and off. On other editors, they have a, you have a picture of an eye. This, these are ticks or check marks. So I turn off that layer. I've still got my original layer there. I haven't painted onto that picture. I painted above it. And if I turn this one off, then all I've got is this. And what I've got here, this uh, grey and white checkerboard, this shows the rest of this image here, the list of this pixel layer, the top layer. This is transparent. This is the only bit we can see. And it's that transparency which is like that picture with the red uh, and the transparent bit so that we could see the picture underneath. So we click on this here and I can now see both again. So there you go. That's the very, very basics of layers. They are stacked one on top of the other and you can put things on one and see things on underneath on another. Thank you very much for watching.